So you will not let me pass? King Moraga's orders. Though I have yet to tell you where I'm headed. <laughs> Perhaps you intend to prevent me from returning to Horn Castle. Dream up whatever story you wish. Were I to say that I shall proceed with brute force? And I would not hesitate to fight back. Those are my orders. Excellent. Ready your blade. You truly wish to fight? Our forces completely outnumber yours. Your numbers mean not. If you intend to withdraw, I suggest you do so while you have the chance. Retreat? How absurd. The main force of Horn is broken. Your threats are empty. I see. At least I gave you fair warning. My patience has reached its limit. You had best believe I will not be holding back! We still don't know the whereabouts of the Leonis army? How could this be possible? My apologies. We took up vantage points along the high road to Leonis, but we saw neither hide nor hair of them. Are they truly headed for Wazette? There is no mistaking their destination, but... Huh? Elda and party have been sighted! So, they have finally made their appearance. Where? Actually, they were spotted on a trail known only to locals. You mean to say that someone is guiding them? Well... Go ahead. Out with it. We are not yet completely certain. But it might be Lady Meanwu. Meanwu is leading them? Why? Come to think of it, I haven't seen Meanwu around lately. Haven't you heard? Meanwu is being pursued as a traitor. As a traitor? Really? I have heard the rumors. Apparently, she let her magical powers run reckless and leveled the Magic Research Institute. Why would she do something so terrible? I heard tell that she had been attempting to cast a lost and ancient magic. And so she has fled the country. Alas, why would she fall in with Leonis? I'm not so sure about all of this. Nor am I. Shall we return to the castle? We shall not. But Wizette and Leonis are supposed to be allies. You would have us take King Elda's life, despite our alliance? I understand how you feel. And yet, this is the mission that Akito has been tasked with. If we abandon our alliance with Leonis, we'll be left to fight off Venice and Horn all on our own. I know not what King Kuri is thinking. However, I fear he might be searching for a way to ally with Horn. Huh? You think he'd suddenly form an alliance with an enemy we've been fighting for decades now? An alliance with Fennis is also not entirely out of the question. So then he intends to broker said alliance with King Elda's severed head. Enough conjecture. No matter how many theories we come up with, we will not understand the King's true motives. Focus only on your orders. Understood? Yes. It does not sit well with me. But we have no other choice. Even if Minwu has fallen in with the enemy, we must do our duty, no matter how difficult it may be. Move out! Father! This wound is nothing to fuss about. <laughs> We cannot continue on like this. <sighs> Reporting. Moraga's forces continue their pursuit. At this rate... How can that be? This road is known only to those of Wazette. Lord Mont, the risk we discussed... I know. Listen to me, Minwu. 
if you truly bear no grudge against Leonis, then I have a proposal. I'm listening. Our movements have somehow become known to Moraga. Are you suggesting a spy is in our ranks? Mont, enough. Father. Do you not understand the consequences of casting unwarranted doubt upon those under your command? <sighs> I believe I asked you a question. I... I understand, Father. Lord Mont, you truly think a traitor exists within our ranks? The decision you make now will influence the future of all present. There's a fork in the road ahead. I thought to continue down the path to the right, but... Lord Mont! Then we will use the left, but only for a short time. Then we will return here. Mont, will you not heed my words? I see. You mean for us to take the right-hand path after that? Mont! If there is a spy among us, they will tell their allies which path we decide to follow at the fork in the road. In other words, you plan to use their deception against them. Perhaps they mark the trees we pass, or pile up stones as a sign. I know not their methods, but they are certainly leaving a trail for our pursuers to follow. And if we can discover it... Such foolishness. Father, later you may scold me as much as you like. Alas, now is not the time. You must trust me. Do not forget that you, and you alone, will bear responsibility for your actions. Stay where you are. Lord Mont? Shitzelt, are you sure it's him? I am sure. He was caught making signs with pebbles just beyond the fork in the road. I can hardly believe that Moraga's underlings actually infiltrated Kalo. So you finally noticed, huh? You can't do aught by yourself. Surrender. <laughs> What's so funny? A certain someone gifted me with power. Behold my tremendous strength! An ogre! Mordmont, stay back! Mordmont! This is not where my life ends! I... I shall not die in a place like this! The Leonis bloodline is all! Even should we fall afoul of gods to defend it! What? Moraga's forces have approached even closer? At this rate, they will reach us before sundown. How can this be? The spy has already been dealt with. Yet Moraga still knows that we have chosen to travel this road. How? I do not know. Our pursuers must have some means of tracking our movements. Of this, we can be certain. Maybe the faintest of tracks are left in the dirt or the scent of blood lingers in the air. Or perhaps... Perhaps... Perhaps a spy remains among us. Impossible. Mingwu, will there be another fork in the road? No. If we continue along this route, we will need only cross the mountains to enter Wazette. 
But, uh... Then we have but one option. We must confront Moraga's forces. Could we win such a battle? Father's wounds are deep. He will not be able to fight. Besides, we know not how strong Moraga's forces are. Lord Mont. Let's plan a surprise attack. Fortunately, this forest is perfect for an ambush due to the poor visibility. What say you? Perhaps a short rest here to prepare ourselves for the fight would be better than continuing down the road and being overtaken. I think it is a fantastic plan. It is comforting to hear that, especially coming from you. Huh. Schitzelt? You have certainly come into your own, Lord Mont. Nashiri said something similar. It is my honest feeling. Thank you. Now, let us make quick work of the beasts inhabiting this area. Then, we will lay out the perfect ambush for Moraga. Sounds like a plan. coming from the spy in Elda's forces. What is it? Hmm. Got it. We'll be with you soon. What did they say? We'll catch up to them in the forest ahead. <laughs> the slugs are hiding in the forest, planning to ambush us. What does that have to do with anything? There's more. Elda's been wounded something fierce. Wounded? How? I... I'm the one who will kill him. I'll be the one to take Elda's life. Don't panic. No one will lay a hand on him till we get there. Hmm. <laughs> I can feel your tremendous hatred. Now get going! Today marks the end of the Leonis bloodline! Ketone! <laughs> hey now! Don't tell me that the fight's already gone out of you. Does it hurt? It hurts, doesn't it? Oh, you must be fighting back the tears. Let it all out, huh? You bastards! Kito, calm yourself. Brother? Say not. You'll just wind them up. You think I'm gonna complain? Aren't you? I just wanted your permission is all. Can I kill them? Please? Fine. But keep your guard up. Oh! You saying you're gonna show us what you're really made of? Ah, let's do the same for them, brother. Yeah, why not? Come on out! How can there be so many of them? Sorry, Les, but we don't have any interest in the weak. Once we take care of these two, I'll give you another shot, huh? If you're still breathing, that is. What's going on? There's no end to them! Damn it! They just keep coming. You lot really underestimated the Sanctum. Do you have any idea how many people worship our Lord Sadali? You couldn't even imagine. There's strength in numbers. You would do well to remember that. Well, 
It's to hell with you from here, huh? Eh?